Hello dears, this is my third attempt to upload this video and I hope this one works. This video has been hit by copyright multiple times and blocked um, by the publishers of the song and of the video and um, I have had this issue pretty much just recently with Dimash's videos and um, you know, I, I'm trying to work around it. I put bars over this. I've had to change a little bit of the audio just to try to get through that and uh, I, I hope that um, I hope this works. I, I you know, I'm, I, I don't know why there's been a change as far as this policy. I'm, I consider this fair use, but that claim has been denied multiple times. Um, despite other publishers agreeing that my videos do fall under fair use, sometimes some of them don't. But this video was blocked. It wasn't just not monetized, it was blocked. So hopefully this works. Um, again, publishers are within their rights to do that. It's just you know, at some point, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do when I know that I'm contributing to the video and to the discussion around it. Um, but, you know, hopefully this goes through. I just want you to understand that's why there's bars over this. That's why some of the sound might be weird. Got to do what I got to do. Thank you for watching. Hi, Cedric here. Before we jump into this video, something you need to know is that I recorded this on, I believe, September 23rd, 2022. So this was a long time ago. What happened was, I shot this, and then as I was editing a few of the reactions I had filmed, Story of One Sky dropped, and I got really excited about that, did that reaction, and then forgot I had filmed this. And so as I was going through some of my files trying to clear up some of my storage, I realized I had never edited this reaction. So this is something of uh, from the vault. This is a previously unreleased uh, analysis from me. So um, I'm excited to jump back in you know, a month and a half later, I remember enjoying it. So let's jump into this reaction, but I just wanted to let you know why things might be a little bit weird with this. It is an old reaction that I had just never posted. I think it's the only one I've ever done that on. I just completely forgot about it, and somehow I still have the file. So enjoy, from the vaults, this reaction. Here we go. Hi, and welcome to my channel. Football! Hey, yeah! If you're new here, my name is Cedric. I'm an actor, a filmmaker, a screenwriter, and a YouTube reactor, and I think Dimash is great. And it's my understanding that he has released a new song by the time that this video is coming out, and I've probably released a video for that already. I just got full body chills. But um, at the time that I was recording, <coughs> great. At the time that I was recording this, uh, I just wanted to learn a new song from him. So I just went to his channel and picked one I hadn't heard yet uh, called Emittelmeskun, which translates to Unforgettable Day, according to Google Translate. So we're gonna check this out. I have no idea what to expect as always with him. You know, I got used to the theatrical operatic stuff and then he turns in stuff like Golden or um, what was the last one I did? Zalin, where it's like, oh, this is uh, not that. So you just don't know what to get from him and that's exciting. I did see his performance in the National Anthem. This guy can sing, my goodness. I can't wait to see this. Before we jump into it, thank you to my patrons on Patreon. Thank you for your... For mm, Thank you for your support. Thank you for just helping me out as I do my writing and my auditions and everything. Um, thank you to all of you for your thoughts and prayers for my recent medical misadventure. Um, it has been a, an interesting one for those over the past few years. So hopefully that, that comes to a halt. But um, yeah, let's jump in. I don't know what to expect. And I think that maybe that's the best expectation I could have. So, Dimash, Unforgettable Day. I think this is from his digital show that he did, I believe. The shirt with his set is already a really nice color scheme. It's good, good design.
So a lot of that was kind of a classical, softer opening to a song. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Like nice, light, uh, emotional, intimate sounding, but you can still hear that operatic training when he extends the notes and especially when he hit the, oh, what an unforgettable day. Oh, da -da -da. Like adding that vibrato there, which you know, he doesn't need to stay on pitch, but it does create a nicer, warmer sound. Um, it kind of makes it feel like we're we're watching a memory. And when you look at, I, like, I don't know about you guys, but when I think back on like my childhood and happy memories from my childhood, a lot of them almost have this like golden tone to it. This sort of, of um, hue that permeates what, I'm, what my memory actually is. And so, it almost feels like he's giving us that. And with the production design of this whole thing, where we've got the blue background with the columns, but then this kind of warmer tone thing behind him, he's in a dark brown shirt, it looks like brown or black, with these golden flowers on it maybe, and then this golden light hitting him. It also feels like we're witnessing him reliving a memory, an unforgettable day, a day he cannot forget that he is, in, so far it seems like enjoying the memory of. It's Dimash, so maybe this ends up with him being like, but you died and I'm alone. Or he'll be like, we're together forever, now we're swans. Which, again, you just don't know where he's going to go with things, which is very exciting. But he's doing a really nice job adding those emotions into it, vocally adding some texture, adding some... Uh, da, 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 adding that little bit to the start of notes, falling off a little bit, keeping it light, keeping it breathy, adding vibrato where he wants to, where he needs to, and being able to extend notes and... and uh, this is going to go places, I can tell. Yeah. Oh, cool. Nice, now we're up. Light. He's doing such a nice job switching between his different, his mix, his head voice, his chest voice. Like, I know that wasn't what he actually sang, but like, the challenge of having Like, he's, it's so effortless. And it really feels like we're living in this memory with him. Uh, of course, my captions aren't working the whole time, so I'm having to kind of infer what he's saying. But I'm able to infer what he's saying because of his performance, because he's flipping between this incredibly light, barely touching it vibrato up in his range and then flipping down, adding these little runs, putting a little bit more power and chest into it and then pulling back still in the chest and then going up high, but then putting a little bit more power up there. He's keeping us a little bit off balance with that, but he's really, what he's doing is telling a story to the point where you kind of forget a little bit that he's singing, even though the vocals are super good so far. He's just kind of taking us through this memory with him and it's really well done. <laughs> There's no we have more power now. Yeah. 
Yeah, there we go. So that's interesting. Look where he's adding the vibrato. I don't know what exactly the notes are, but it was basically like, what I was about to say in this video didn't make a lot of sense. I understood what I was saying, but it was not phrased well, and I imagine that's the case with a lot of my videos, but I have a chance here to re-say it perhaps a little bit more clearly. What I'm trying to say is, when he has that fast vibrato, which I just added in the notes as well as I was editing, he has that da-da, he takes it up. He changes his vibrato on the lower note. When he's up higher, it's much faster, it's more harsh. And then when he drops down, da, 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 it's somewhere around there. It's a little bit slower. It's a little bit more of a full sound. And it's amazing how that slight shift is a total change in energy. It's no longer reliving this memory. It's, it's this memory coming to life. And, you know, think about the color that that brings into his sound. You know, it really adds a little bit of orange to the sound, doesn't it? It makes it a little bit more aggressive in the sound. And I like that because he's kind of entering this phase of, of begging and being like, yes, be with me. Like, I, I love, ha, be with me. That's a Dimash song. Be, 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 be. But he's, it's, it's really starting to build up and you've got the, the fire kind of getting bigger in the background and the sparkles coming down and the lights are getting bigger and, and, and he's more bathed in light. His performance is getting bigger. He's kind of starting to bend over. And so he's, Technically, not he's not necessarily getting a lot louder. The orchestration has, the mix has, but his performance is getting bigger, bolder to match where the song is going. I hope that makes sense. Yeah, right there. Cool. Oh, cool. Okay, now he's full power. Now he's full pop! Like, he's really adding that vibrato, that punch to it. And you can see that the mic's a little bit further away, the lights are bursting, the lights behind him is popping off. He's really bent over, but he's earned this build to it. He's earned it because he hasn't gotten too big too early, which a lot of people don't realize. They, they, they want to get to the emotion, but like he is getting there because if he went there earlier, it would seem angry or something. But now we know it's really dealing in passion. And now you can hear that he's really, that vibrato's there because now he's really pushing. And so now it's going to be technically perfect. I mean, it was before, but now it's going to be the classical approach, I would assume, because... He's really like stretching everything to, to the fullest extent. And gosh, his voice. Like I, I'm dumbfounded sometimes by the power that this man can just like find. Like I know that I can sing with power and like a full sound, but like he's on a different level. Like it's not a full sound. It's like a Dimash. Like do the Dimash should be like a phrase. Yeah, Dimash. It's, it's just unreal what what he's able to do. And so often that's why you see him holding the mic like out here because his, it just, his control is so, so, so there. Cool cutting, yeah. Ha! <laughs> 
Look at his physical performance, opening himself up, opening up his lungs, opening up his chest, but still like down on one knee, still able to pull over. But that's because he's doing important work here. He's selling the performance, but he's also kind of readying himself to approach these high heights physically with his voice, holding the mic kind of loose. It's all got this air of performance, but there is an underlying technicality here to keep himself healthy throughout this because he's pushing pretty high, pretty full sound, and it is a very good. It's very nice. It's got a really nice sharp edge to it. He's adding this nice edge to his sound that um, you don't always hear from him. And, and it, you know, when he uses it, it works. When he doesn't, it works. But it's nice to hear it. Casually. It's a D, I think, probably. I'm not even gonna try it. I know I could. I've sung that high before, but not full voiced. That's like, that's high. My gosh. So when he was doing that work down on the ground, that is prepping himself and also relaxing his chords, focusing in because now he's Like he's getting very full and I haven't warmed up at all so you can hear that in my voice but even that was almost a full octave lower than what he was doing right there nice cool shot now back to power The Dimash breath. Boy, boy. Before I forget, I want to point out how the lights were reinforcing the columns that were behind him on stage. Uh, the lights were beaming down to kind of continue the imagery from the background that was behind him. So that was cool. Gosh, I, I don't think anyone's even suggested this song and yet it was incredible. Like his performance is so good and I haven't heard him go that high. I don't think in a while. It's so hard to even think because every song he does something different that is just nuts, like absurd. The vocal proficiency, it never ceases to amaze me with him how many different sounds he's able to produce while maintaining that unique, like they're not, you know, like you can do different character voices where you can like, you know, voice actors will, will be able to do Gollum and then Goofy and then Stitch and jump between all these different characters. But like, that's not the thing with Dimash. He does all these different voices and different sounds. And I assume has probably done duets with himself, but they're also still him. Like it's it's still him and it's identifiably him him and I I think that's so impressive and I don't know what else there is to say about this I loved it thank you so much for watching it for what am I saying thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and until next time please fix your posture drink lots of water and take care of yourselves be well. <laughs>